I usually don't. I usually don't. But this has to be said. Oh, boy. My black community. Stop it. Stop it. Caitlin Clark did not get big because of Angel Reese. She did not get big because Angel Reese did the John Cena in her face. It, that's, that's, that's not how it happened, man. Caitlin Clark was already big. She was already getting media fame. Now, what that did do was heighten the black versus white narrative that America sports love. They love that when white versus black go against each other and they battle it out in sports. They love it. But her doing that to Caitlin Clark, that did not that did not make her bigger. She was already big. It helped. It, uh, no doubt, it did help. But Angel Reese was not the reason she was not bigger at that point either. Now, the reason that Angel Reese even did it in the first place was to get notoriety because she was mad because Caitlin Clark was getting all the fame. So if y'all are talking about that she that she was she wasn't popular, that's the main reason Angel Reese did it because Caitlin Clark was already getting all the fame and she felt that her team, her team in um LSU deserved it. She was averaging twenty three and fifteen at that point. She felt like she deserved that 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 notoriety, her teammates deserved that notoriety, and they weren't getting it. Caitlin Clark was doing it, so that's why she did it. So please stop going around and saying that Caitlin Clark wasn't as big, and 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 Angel Reese is the reason that she got that thing. No, she wasn't. Caitlin Clark was already being nationally televised. Um, she was scoring thirty points a game. People were already starting to hear about her. It was tuning in, and we were tuning in because of the style of how she played. Even though Angel Reese was getting some notoriety because I was you know, her points and her rebounds, it was still an ugly game, but also because she's a beautiful woman to a lot of people, it helped her. But bland behind Caitlin Clark, she got it because we enjoyed watching her game because she was just that damn good. So stop it, please. I'm pretty please. I'm tired of hearing it. That's not what happened. Oh, you're in trouble now, man. (laughs) Am I lying? Is that what happened? So I know, I, I know what happened, but if you say anything to the contrary, it's and I like and I, and I don't have a problem with Angel Reese. I, I don't want y'all to think that I'm a coon. I'm what's my guy name? What's the big guy name that they don't like? Oh, Whitlock. Uncle, uh, Whitlock. Uh, Whitlock. Whitlock. Yeah. Oh man, I'm not that it's guy. Not, I just keep it real, man. That's not why Caitlin Clark got notoriety. It wasn't because because of this fool. Oh, she was. I know. Caitlin Clark was doing it, but she was killing the people in the regular season with them she shots. Wasn't going, she, she wasn't going around chasing people and doing it. And, and, and when she did it, she did it from fifty feet away to Helly Van Lith. Yeah, so she was with Louisville. Like she did it from fifty feet away, like to the other side of the court. So, it wasn't like a, I'm three feet from you doing so this shit. Like the, the NCAA took advantage of it. Kate and, and and Angel Reese took advantage of the opportunity to go back and do it to her face because she was killing and she was. Becoming real popular. And she was like, why not me who's averaging 23 and 15? And why not my teammates? And end of the day, that's what happened, guys. Sorry. I'm sorry to break it to y'all. Fighting. Hey, man. Fighting. Fighting. Bear enough with me. No, you're called a clown now. Don't worry. You're called a clown. Bear. You're called any kind of has it. I'm definitely going to use this clip. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> Whatever, because that's the. Tr- I mean, it's the truth. People don't like truth. Truth telling is the most painful thing on earth. The truth telling, you know. Look, you can admit what it's okay. Look, this is my last word. <laughs> you can admit, it. and I would have no problem admitting. It. It's the same way Brazilians are. You know, who started jujitsu. From Japan, Japan, then they taught it to the Brazilians. Brazilians basically did a different type of jujitsu when UFC, when MMA started and UFC started. It was started by Brazilians, by the Gracie family. And you're you got guys that know something that have a a, a, a martial art mm-hmm. that no one else really knows how to do, and knows and 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 it's all about submission. So 
you get taken down. You don't know how to stop a takedown. And you're a boxer. You're like, what the hell do I do down here? And next thing you know, you're being strangled. And you're like, what the fuck? I don't think Brazilians are all that happy that tons of Americans now know how to do jujitsu and beat them at their own shit. It probably bugs them a little bit because they feel like they're the ones that brought it. It's their shit. We can be honest. Professional sports, primarily in basketball and football, are played primarily by black athletes. It is a shocker to many people when a white athlete at a skill position is just as good or better than his colleagues or contemporaries at that same position who are black, i.e. Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, I don't think anyone would debate, is the best running back in football. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone would debate it. And if he's not the best, he's number two. And you don't, you don't hear black football players pissed off that Christian McCaffrey is a bad motherfucker. Initially, they're like, Wait, this, this white boy plays running back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that motherfucker can go. And But you don't hear that. Luka Doncic is arguably a top five player in the NBA. Mm-hmm. The best player in the NBA, by by why by most opinions, Joker. is jo- Joker. Which black player is pissed off that Joker is the best player in the league? You don't hear anyone complaining about it or making a thing about it because for seventeen years, <laughs> hell, you want to be real? Since nineteen ninety, because there was a five year stretch where Larry Bird was the best player in basketball. Magic was there for a couple, and then it became Jordan for a decade, and then it became Shaq or Akeem or whoever, Duncan. and then it became LeBron, Duncan, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. So now there's a couple of white dudes that are fucking good. Big deal. But for some reason... Women have a problem with it. Women have a problem with the fact that this lily white girl is getting more attention than the beloved Asia Wilson. Asia, have you ever seen Asia Wilson's game? Yeah, she's not nice. Aesthetically pleasing. She's a great player, <laughs> but she's but the game, but the, her actual game is not aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It is not making you say, oh, my God, wow, holy shit. No. None of that stuff. No. Same thing with John Quell Jones. Same thing with Brianna Stewart, who's a white girl. Same thing with Kelsey Plum, who's a white girl. Same thing with Sabrina Ionescu, who's a white girl. Brittany Griner. You, Arika Agumbawale, or whatever. Agumbawale. Skylar Diggins, who I love and who you love. Jewel Lloyd. All these different women. None of their games are making you say, holy shit. Yet, the girl gets the pub because her game makes people say, holy Holy shit. shit. The same shit we used to say when Steph Curry started popping shots from the logo. Like, where did he just shoot that ball from? Did that go in? Or, oh my God! Or LeBron James being the fastest guy on the court, running through everybody at six nine two sixty. That's oh my God! You know, you watch. I mean, look. I, I said, like when he would dunk the ball as a rookie, his chin was at the rim. Like, like that's oh my God! And 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 that's what makes people watch sports. And then all of a sudden, his crossover was. Cool. I don't. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to say this, but I'm gonna fucking say it. Oh Lord. When the guys that are playing in LA Fitness can beat the best 12 players in the WNBA. Oh my God, I'm ending it. I'm ending it. They, they won't beat them. No, they, I'm not going that far. They'll lose. Which LA Fitness? <laughs> Which LA? Nick, you played point guard in college basketball. Are you telling me that you could not defend Caitlin Clark? Yeah, so I could I could defend Katie. Thank you. All right, all right then. Are you telling me that the six foot seven guy that's playing at El- not Boozer because Boozer can't run? But no, they sorry, can't, Boozer. Okay, they can't grab him. But the six seven guys pogo sticks that are L- at LA Fitness, who who who's gonna guard them? 
That's a, that's a kind of good between, one. Between Camilo Cardoso and Angel Reese, neither can get more than three inches off the ground. Who's going to guard? Them? Th these guys, like the professor from, remember, and one, he goes to the parks and murders people. He's 37, 38 years old. And he still does the same moves. And they still can't do shit about it as he throws the ball off their face <laughs> in the park. Like, and these guys all think they're ballers. Like, are you sitting here telling me that they can guard the professor? Fuck no. Like, we, like we need to stop this shit. We need to stop this shit. There's nothing, oh my God, about the WNBA. I, I don't know. DJ Nate She she might could guard him. She got some defense. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Stop it. Stop. Stop that. Yeah. Non you're, you're, stop that nonsense. Her entire fucking fame now is predicated on guarding Caitlin Clark. And now she calls out Caitlin Clark for being a racist because people use their name, her name, in racial and 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 misogyny and whatever the fuck else you want to call it. No, dear. She, she they don't. I didn't, I didn't think she said that. She, she says she attaches the racist people to her name and doesn't say no. Like she's supposed to now fight the fans that love her and say, you can't say those things because it's mean. Taylor Clark's not even looking at social media. Do you think Caitlin Clark cares? Caitlin Clark being in her own world. She doesn't care. She wants to play basketball. She's not looking at social media. She don't give a fuck. She's like Durant. She's like Durant. She, she probably does. has her, her, her boyfriend probably looks at more shit on social media about her than she does. Because realistically, Caitlin Clark, if she really wanted to, could take her ball, call Ice Cube, get 15 million, or call a team in Europe and make 10 million a year, go the fuck over there and say, ladies, it's been fun. Y'all hate me. Y'all hate me so much. It's been fun. Good luck. And you know what would happen? The ratings would go to fucking hell. Immediately. And all the fake fans that's oh Disappear. I'm Angel Reese fan. I'm this. We'll be right back to Oblivion. <laughs> they would not they would not watch a game. They wouldn't know what to say because there'd be nothing to talk about. Because the, the because the 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 good guy to the bad guy, the bad guy to the good guy, whatever you want to call it. If one of them is gone, who is the bad guy or the good guy anymore? It's just the guy that no one cared about to begin with, but only cared because one was black, one was white. I, 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 that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All like, right. but yeah, I do think that the it, it would be a cold day. I, I, yeah, 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 man. All right. Yeah. But shit, yeah, I don't care no more. I, I've given my opinion on this shit so many, and I'm gonna keep doing it. I, I feel like I have to, I have to defend the honor of Caitlyn Clark now. I don't know. If we have this section in a section and a segment just called the Caitlyn. I, I, you can't call it Caitlyn Corner because I already got Combat Corner. But I don't know the the, the CC effect or or, or or something like that. Give oh. us a name because we're doing this on a weekly. Look, you you you, I, you we joke about it. We're at two hours and fifteen minutes. We spoke for over an hour about this. And the funny thing about all of it is, is that we would not talk about this if people weren't watching it. Yeah, because it. Nick, Nick and I well, don't give two flying fucks about the WNBA. Prefer not to. And don't give two flying fucks about women's college basketball. We do not care. It is not entertaining for us. But we are a sports podcast and people want to hear opinions. And yes, I do have opinions. I'm an opinionated motherfucker. <laughs> and I know basketball and I know what I like to see and I know what I don't like to and see. I don't know what most people like to see because it shows it shows in the viewership. It shows in, it shows in the numbers. All right, that's that, it. That that's fucking it. data. That data. Data's a motherfucker, right? Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.